Gravitation is not responsible for people falling in love, is one of Albert Einstein's most famous quotes, and yet it is more humorous than scientifically informative. Gravity plays a huge role in our everyday life, even though the average person does not think about it daily. It causes an object to fall down when thrown into the air and not go flying off into space. The old saying that everything that goes up must come down is very relatable to everyone because from the day we were born, we are seemingly bound to Earth's surface due to the force of gravity. So, where does gravity come from? How do we know about its origin? Where does it start from? And how does it really work? To physicists, gravity is one of the mysteries that remain unsolved in the universe because we don't have a complete understanding of how it really works. The origin of gravity is a complex concept and one that both Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein put their time and resources into unraveling. Isaac Newton, an English physicist and mathematician, said that gravity is the force of attraction between two objects. He explained that any two objects in the universe exert an attractive force on each other, and this relationship is based on the mass of the two objects and the distance between them. So, the greater mass of the two objects and the shorter the distance between them, the stronger the pull of gravity they exert on each other. Gravity not only works in small objects, but also in complex systems like our solar system. Not only does the sun exert gravity on the planets and other celestial bodies, but also each planet and celestial body exerts gravity on the sun, as well as other planets and celestial bodies. So this means that all these bodies are attracted to each other, assuming that they all have mass. The force of gravity between the objects changes depending on their masses and the distance between them. So afterwards, German-born theoretical physicist Albert Einstein came in with his theory of relativity. He affirmed how gravity is more than just a force. It is sort of a curvature in the fabric of what we call space-time, where space and time are interwoven into a single continuum called space-time that spans multiple dimensions. The space-time continuum consists of four dimensions, the three dimensions of space, up, down, left, right, and forward, backward, plus the fourth dimension of time. In simple terms, the theory explains how the mass of an object causes the space around it to bend and curve, depending on its mass. Although the human eye can't see the curvature of space, it is easily detected by observing the motions of the object. Does all this seem a bit confusing? Don't worry if it does. Einstein's theories of relativity and the space-time continuum are advanced scientific ideas that even scientists sometimes have trouble understanding. A great way of envisioning this theory is using a rubber sheet and placing a heavy ball in the center. The area around the heavy ball will be pressed down, creating a dimple in the rubber sheet. This dimple represents a curvature in the fabric of the space-time continuum. Einstein identified these curves in the space-time continuum as gravity. If you place smaller balls around the heavy ball, you will see that the smaller balls fall in towards the heavier ball because the rubber sheet is warped from the heavier ball's weight. Although we can't see or measure space-time, scientists have confirmed certain phenomena predicted by Einstein. For instance, light bends when traveling around massive objects. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, is when, basically, gravity affects light. When studying large galaxies and clusters of galaxies, astronomers have observed that they cause a straight beam of light to curve around them, thus creating a lensing effect. The weirdest thing about gravity is that it is the weakest of the four fundamental forces at the quantum level. Other theories also state that gravity might be a particle, too. For example, some scientists have proposed that particles known as gravitons cause objects to be attracted to one another. But this is just a theory, because gravitons have never been observed. 
Another popular idea that exists within our universe is gravitational waves. They are generated when an external force accelerates an object. Our understanding of gravity breaks down at both the small entities of the universe, the atoms and molecules where gravity stops working, and the big entities are where we describe how the universe is continuously expanding and how galaxies hold themselves together. One thing preventing us from understanding gravity is the insides of black holes and the moment of the Big Bang. Those two concepts do not work with our current mathematical understanding of how gravity works. The problem is that our knowledge of both particle physics and astrophysics is incomplete. There are great minds out there trying to develop ways to unite quantum mechanics and gravity and come up with solutions to tackle the origin of gravity. But for now, the mystery remains. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.